PTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Mike Galliano. I'm Aiden Wayne. I'm PTV's Chetty Hart. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to another edition of PTV. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021, also known as Earth Day. I'm PTV's Charity Harder. Kicking off today's show, the PHS Interact Club is wrapping up their week-long food drive efforts tomorrow. The food drive's focus is breakfast items, including pancake mix, cereal, and oatmeal. All items the Marshall County Neighborhood Center said they are in need of to stock the community cupboards for families in need. Each advisory class is competing to collect as many of those items as possible throughout the week. The advisor with the highest number of total goods collected will receive a catered pizza party courtesy of the Interact Club before the end of the school year. Donations items will be picked up on Monday, April 26th. The PHS Applied Skills Classroom has many exciting events coming up this spring. The class takes content material and applies it to the daily living. Tammy Radikin, the Applied Skills teacher, invited us into their room to check out the incubator that is keeping chick eggs warm. She said the students in the class learn best through doing. In their applied biology class, they are currently learning about the lifestyle of a chick as they wait for close to two dozen baby chicks to hatch. We are hatching chicks. This is our first time doing it. We have not done it in the past and we're learning a lot as we, as we work on this whole unit. We are monitoring temperature and humidity. Um, we're watching, we have a countdown calendar, so we're pretty excited about it. The 2021-2022 PHS class officers and student council members were announced late last week. The names you see on your screen are the students who were chosen as representatives for each of your class. These students will be providing a voice for their class and will take part in various events representing Plymouth High School. Each officer provides a crucial role for their class and will be working with administrators on school activities such as themes for next year's Spirit Week, for example. All class representatives are final besides the class of 2025. Those names will be announced at a later date. Teachers work tirelessly for the students not only by teaching but by also preparing students for life beyond the classroom. If you're a student, you can help recognize your teacher's hard work by sharing how much you appreciate them. All you have to do is email the National Family Partnership, also known as the NFP, by April 30th, and tell them who your favorite teacher is and why. In the email to info at nfp.org, they ask that you explain why you appreciate your teacher. If your email is picked, you and your teacher might be featured online during Teacher Appreciation Week, which is coming up May 3rd through the 7th. The DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day this Saturday provides an opportunity for Americans to safely drop off their unwanted medications at a convenient drugstore collection sites across the country. Use this day to take inventory of your prescription drugs and dispose of ones you no longer need. On Saturday between the hours 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., you can drop off unwanted drugs to the Marshall County Sheriff's Department or Walgreens. This way, your own medicine cabinet is not a gateway for drug abuse. Mr. Rate, the PHS construction teacher, is now using drones in his introduction to transportation class. The drones were purchased in November with grant money from Marshall County Community Foundation. The use of drones is growing and the FAA estimates that there will be a growing need for drone pilots. Ray says exposing students to this technology now will help them in the future, should they want to get into related fields. He currently has a fleet of small DJI drones which are perfect for beginners because they are forgiving and easy to fly. They're pretty cool. Um, they are a little sensitive sometimes, but I think that the more you get hang of it, the cooler it is and they're, they're just all around just fun. Plymouth High School will be holding the annual Senior Awards program on Friday, May 21st in the Varsity Gym. The ceremony will start somewhere in the morning, and all awards that will be present will be presented to the senior class. PHS and PCSE administration and the PCSE school board members will be in attendance. Due to COVID restrictions, students from the grades 9 through 11 will not be present. PHS is hoping each senior will be allowed two guests. However, the event will be streamed live on the PHS or PTV at PHS YouTube channel. We will keep you updated as more details come in. The end of the year countdown is on. We've already kicked off the countdown on our social media platforms. Right now, the count is 23 more school days. Lots will be popping up, so make sure to check your email. One thing you may have missed, seniors in the cap and gown pickup day is Tuesday, April 27th. That's a wrap for this week's show. We only have four more shows left, and then PTV will not be off for next year. That news saddens many of us who are part of the program as well as past students. We end our show today with a message from 2013 PHS grad Casey McDonald, who is a former PTV alum. Casey sent us this message about how the radio TV program has served as a pathway to her career endeavors. Hi guys, uh, my name is Casey McDonald. I am a graduate from the class of 2013 and a fellow PTV member. Um, I was deeply saddened when I heard that PTV was being canceled because it basically started, you know, my career. Since graduating from uh, Plymouth High School, I 
received my bachelor's from Indiana University South Bend in mass communications. My concentration was electronic media. Through my, the end of my junior into senior year, I was offered um, positions and I also gained jobs um, with the South Bend Cubs um, in IUSB athletics. While I was in the promotions department, I started bringing my camera with me and taking photos. Before I knew it, I was bringing my camera to every game and taking photos. I hated public speaking. Now I'm making videos and you know public speaking and I work for organizations where I talk to strangers every single day at baseball games, softball games, you know different events and I love it. So I think PTV definitely started that process of building that comfort zone just because it's not offered. Like it wasn't anything I wanted wasn't offered at IU or Plymouth. You know, it doesn't mean you don't stop. You just find different ways along the way to learn the skill. Um, but it's also an honor to be able to say goodbye to a program that means the world to me and started me on my path to my dream. Um, I hope that one day somebody, somebody else can look back in 10 years and say, you know what, PTV did the same for me. You know, it might not be there. They may not get to say goodbye, but hopefully now is a good time. Um, but... You know, thank you to everybody who gave me a chance because, you know, I think I'm doing pretty well for myself right now. Thank you, Casey. We appreciate your message and wish you continued success. I'm PTV's Charity Harder. Thank you for your support throughout the year. Have a great day.